Hey everyone, Technometer here. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix if you can't add your passport to digital ID on your iPhone on the latest update. So let's get started. So as you know, now you can add your passport to your iPhone. Really simple. All you do is just go to your wallet and then click on that plus icon. And from here on, you should see the option for driver's license and ID card. You tap on that and then you would add digital ID. And then from there on, you can go ahead and continue and scan the first page of your passport or the page with the numbers in your picture. And it should be easy as long as you have a unexpired passport with a scan code here, you should be able to open it up and scan it. However, if you're not able to do this, you wanna follow these steps here. First thing is you need to consider the model of your iPhone that you have. You need to have an iPhone 11 or a later model. And then if you're using Apple Watch, it has to be series six or later on the latest iOS version. So in your setting, in general, software update, make sure you're on iOS 26.1 or later. If you're not on this version, you'll not be able to do it. The next thing you wanna make sure is when you're adding your passport, your Bluetooth is turned on if it's not already turned on. Along with that, you need to ensure that you have a passcode on your device. So in your uh, touch or face ID and passcode, make sure you have a passcode set if you don't have one. Additionally, you might want to consider having a face ID or touch ID turned on as well. Now, along with that, you also want to make sure you have two-factor setting turned on on your iPhone. So in your setting, Apple ID, under sign-in and security, you want to make sure two-factor authentication is turned on for you. If it's not, you need to turn on two-factor authentication. Now, another thing you also want to make sure is in your setting, in general, and for your language and region, you want to make sure your region is selected to the United States as currently the U.S. paths for are supported. I'm sure some other region will be supported as well. For us, we find the U.S. ones are being supported. Now, last thing you want to ensure that the passport that you have did not expire. Expired passport cannot be added, unfortunately. So you need to make sure your passport still has a valid date to it. And sometimes if your passport is old or if it got damaged or it can't read the scanner, it might not be able to process that. So you might need to get a new passport as well. Now, if you know everything is good, you sometimes have to wait because this is a new feature. If it doesn't work right away when you do this, try to come back and then retry again. It took me a few tries to get it to work when I was adding it on my personal phone. So keep on trying and eventually you should be able to go ahead and add it. And I hope this video was helpful. So please consider a like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks. I'll see you guys next time.